changers. We are so excited that you are here at the Assembly Kids Online. Yes, we are. My name is Miss Janae. This is my great friend, Miss Alyssa. But before we jump into service, we must go over our core values. What? Go over our core values even though we have no one sitting next to us in service? Yes, because core values aren't just the things that we go over in church when we're all together. They're the things that we live by to show Jesus how much we love him. You know, that's actually our first core value. It says love God. Because God is love and he first loved us. That is so good. God is so good. You know, it leads into our next one though. Love people because? Because God loves all people. He loves us so much that he sent his only son, Jesus, to die for us just so that we could know him more. Our third core value says do your best. And God does the rest. <laughs> you know, every time we do our best, God does the rest. It is that simple and it leads to the best one. Oh my gosh, I love this one. It's my favorite one. Me too. Have fun because God, God gives us joy. joy. We love to have fun here at the Assembly Kids, and that's exactly what we're gonna do today. Whatever the distance or darkness, you're with me, you're with me. Whenever I'm failing or falling, you've got me, you've got me. supposed to start Leader 2020, but I don't know where JD is, so. Welcome back to Leader 2020. All right, so today, Savannah, we're gonna ask you 20 questions in under 20 seconds. Now, as you see, I am in camouflage. It's okay, I assure you, I am still here as per last week. So, Brandon, are you ready? Yes. All right, let's get right into it. Three, two, one. Frozen number one. Moana. Cookies or brownies? Brownies. Favorite school subject? Um, reading. Favorite holiday? Christmas. Favorite way to spend a day? Reading. Ice cream or snow cone? Snow cone. Bell or bueno? Bell. Least favorite food? Spaghetti. 
Yeah, unicorn. <laughs> unicorn! Favorite Bible story? I love Esther. Favorite movie? Uh, Jekyll. Favorite sports play? I don't like sports. What's your job? I have a job. DC or Marvel? <laughs> DC. Oh my, oh my gosh, Savannah, you answered the actually the most <laughs> questions out of all of the leaders. Congratulations. And now, we will see you all next week on Leaders 2020. What is up, squad? It is your boy, JD, J Dizzle, and I'm with my girl, Alyssa, and we're, we're gonna be going over your uh, memory verse today. So, your memory verse is found in Psalm 77, 14, and it states, you are the God who does miracles, you show your power among the nations. So, I think we should put some moves to that, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. All right, so, you are the God who does miracles, you show your power among the nations. Psalm 77, double dot, 14. So now, I want you at home to do it with me. So I'm gonna say it, and then you guys are gonna say it. You are the God. You are the God. Who does miracles. Who does miracles. You show your power. You show your power. Among the nations. Among the nations. Psalm. Psalm. 77. 77. Double dot. Double dot. 14. 14. Yeah.
name is Alyssa, and we are gonna go over today's big idea. So it is God is stronger than anything. And we're just gonna repeat after me, God is God is stronger than stronger than anything. Anything. Awesome. So now we are gonna go into a quiet voice. Are you ready? God is God is stronger than stronger than anything. Okay, awesome guys, that was so quiet. So now, we're gonna do a mouse voice. Are you guys ready? Ch -ch -ch -ch. God is, God is stronger than, stronger than anything, anything. That was awesome. Okay guys, see you later. Hey kids, it's Professor Faith, back with Max. Woo, go David. See, we're in the middle of a battlefield getting ready to watch a real David and Goliath story. Now you've probably heard a David and Goliath story before about a little guy beating the highly favored big guy. But this is a different one. This is the real David and Goliath. I can't see a thing. Well, we did get here kind of late, so we don't have the best seats. We're in the end zone. That's true. We're right behind the giant, so we can't see much of David at all. But I promise, we're gonna try our absolute hardest to get the best video this we can. Say, Professor, how does a little guy like David beat a big guy like Goliath? Well, I could explain to you guys all the science-y type stuff like Newton's second law and momentum and all that gizmo. However, we can just go to the straight point, which is that God was using David to prove a point. What point was that? That God is bigger than any obstacle, any enemy, and he can beat it all. Whoa! Mm-hmm. Um, Professor, how tall would you say Goliath is? Oh, I don't know, maybe 20 feet or so? Um, and how far away from him are we? Mm, I'd say about 15 feet. So if he's 20 feet tall and we're 15 feet away... Oh. Professor, he's coming down! Run! Hey guys, welcome back to the Science Lab. My name is Ali Miss Alicia and this is Miss Janae. And today we're gonna be building a catapult. So here's our finished product and we're just gonna show you how it works really quickly. So we're taking marshmallow and we're gonna sit in there and we do the other. Kachiga! Wow, okay. And now <laughs> we're gonna get into showing you how to make it. Okay, so we're gonna use skewers, but if you guys don't have these at home, you can use straws, popsicle sticks, whatever you want. It only takes seven though. Okay, so let's set this off to the side. All right. So first things first, you need to take three of your skewers and put marshmallows on the ends. And then once you have that, then you can lay it on the table and make a triangle shape. So you just connect all of the ends to the next marshmallow. Perfect. Then you take your next three skewers and you stick it in to the marshmallow that's on the table. Then they'll just kind of lean together for a second like a pyramid. This is where you take your rubber band and you tie it around all three of the tops so that they stay together and they're super tight. You might want to wrap it as many times as you can so that there's no like extra space in between it. There we go. <laughs> okay, and then you're going to tape a spoon to your seventh skewer or straw or popsicle stick, whichever one you are using. And then you're gonna find a little empty space and you're gonna stick it in between the rubber band. So then when you put your marshmallow on the spoon and you hit it, Whoa. it works just like a catapult. And that can work because of Newton's second law, which tells us that force equals mass times acceleration. So because of this, we can actually measure how much force the marshmallow had when it hit the ground. And if we use a higher mass or a faster acceleration, the force will actually change. So, it's just like in the story of David and Goliath. Although we don't know how much force or acceleration or mass that the stone actually had, we do know that it had enough force to kill a giant. So, that shows us that God is powerful enough mm -hmm. to slay a giant. All right, well, I think that's all the time we have left in the science lab, so we'll see you guys later. Bye. What's up, guys? Guess what time it is? Game time! We're so excited to play with you. Today's game is going to be Simon Says, but with a twist, since I am Miss Janae, we're going to call it Janae Says. Are you guys ready to play? I think you know how. Everyone, up on your feet. Okay, so to start off, Janae Says, march in place. Now Janae Says, run faster! Now stop! Wow! Oh, I got all of you, wow! Maybe you guys are still going. 
Oh, you're still going? Applause to you, man, that one was tough. Okay, let's keep going. How about we pretend to go slow-mo? Janae says, pretend to go slow-mo. Now Janae says to swim really fast like a shark is chasing you. Ah! Now, touch your head. <laughs> oh, you guys, this is so fun. Okay, now let's see, Janae says, rub your tummy. Now pat your head. Oh, I can't even do it. JD. <laughs> okay, Miss Janae says, let's touch our toes. Uh, Miss Janae says, reach as high as you can. Miss Janae says, lean to your right. Miss Janae says, lean to your left. Now touch your toes again. Ooh, you guys are getting better, okay. Miss Janae says, let's do a star. Now, like a pencil. <laughs> okay, last one. Miss Janae says, fall on the ground. Man, that one was my favorite one. <laughs> Great job, guys, it was so fun playing with you. Hey guys, welcome back to our Bible lesson of the week. We are so glad to have you here. Now, how many of you are loving our science experiments we're doing? They are so much fun, right? So what's awesome about science is it teaches us so much about how the world works. Like, why does gravity work? Why is the sky blue? Science is amazing. But do you know what? Science doesn't exactly explain everything all the time. Because like miracles in the Bible, sometimes it just doesn't even make sense. And that's what our Bible story today is all about. So we're gonna look up in the Bible today in 1 Samuel chapter 17. So go ahead and go grab your Bibles and we're gonna get, to get there together in 1 Samuel 17. All right, Miss Savannah, are you ready to read it? Absolutely. All right, guys, this is 1 Samuel 17, verse 48. So it says, as the Philistine moved closer to attack him, David ran quickly toward the battle line to meet him. Reaching into his bag and taking out a stone, he slung it and struck the Philistine on the forehead. The stone sank into his forehead and he fell face down on the ground. So David triumphed over the Philistine with a sling and a stone. Without a sword in his hand, he struck down the Philistine and killed him. Did you guys catch that? So if you know anything about the story of David and Goliath, David was a little, little guy, and Goliath was a big, strong, scary giant. And yet God gave David the strength to take that giant down. Because you know what? Our big idea today is that God is stronger than anything. And that is shown in our story today, that God gave David the strength he needs. And today, God can give you the strength that you need, no matter how big the battle seems. All right, guys, before I give you our challenge today, let me see your muscles. Ooh, oh man, you guys look so good. So I bet so strong. our challenge today is going to be super easy for you. Mm -hmm. So today we want you guys to do something that makes you seem really strong, like arm wrestle a sibling yes. or do 10 push-ups or 10 jumping jacks, whatever it is, be super duper strong. But always remember that no matter how strong you are, God is always stronger and he is strong enough to go up against whatever we're facing. Absolutely. All right, guys, we are gonna close out our time with prayer. So let's go ahead and bow our heads, close our eyes, and repeat after me. Dear Jesus. Dear Jesus. Thank you that you are stronger than anything. Thank you that you are stronger than anything. Help me to remember that no matter how strong I am. Help me to remember that no matter how strong I am. You are still stronger. That you are still stronger. I love you. I love you. In your name we pray. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Hey guys, thanks so much for joining us today. And remember, you're God's kids. He has plans for you. He loves you like crazy. And, and we do too. See you later. Be sure to visit theassembly.org slash kidstuff. We'll see you next time.